So this has been picked up on in the British press as well, which has caused Gareth Bale to have to respond on Twitter today, saying, fortunately, I've developed a thick skin during my time in the public spotlight, but that doesn't mean articles like these don't cause damage and upset personally and professionally to those at the receiving end of these malicious stories. The everyday pressures on athletes is immense, and it's as clear as day how negative media attention could easily send an already stressed athlete or anybody in the public eye over the edge. So I wanted to use my platform to encourage. Change in the way we publicly talk about and criticize people, simply for the most part, not meeting the often unrealistic expectations that are projected onto them. We all know who the real parasite is. Mm. Boom. I mean, it's one thing you can think what you like of what's going on with Gareth Bale at Real Madrid and the differences in performances and attitude on the Welsh national team. But Jules, to see articles like this is unacceptable, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. It's an absolute disgrace. Like, uh, you understand why he called them out uh, in his interview yesterday, even on, as you say, his response on Twitter. He called out the Daily Mail as well as a, as a UK newspaper. I mean, come on, a parasite. And it's not just the name, the parasite. It's the way they describe him, the way they, the way they, they talk about him in that article. I mean, this, this is just not... This is not on. It's not on even if you think that Gareth Bale has stayed for too long at Real Madrid or he doesn't deserve the money that he's earning or whatever. You don't treat human beings like this. This is what, what, you know, what country does that? Where, where are we to do things like this? This is completely unprofessional. You can understand why. Maybe not him so much being upset because, as he says, he's been, he's been there before and he's gone through it. But imagine his, his family, his parents, his mum. I mean, being aware of things like that, it's, it must be so upsetting and in a way I'm glad he responded the way he did on the pitch even if that clearly created more anger even in Spain because they clearly were not happy that he was doing so well with Wales and after doing so little with Real Madrid but again it's not just all his faults and this is someone who won them Champions League he was someone who was so good for them and now for them to treat him like this I really think it's an absolute disgrace it's weird isn't it Stevie to see to see columns like that yeah I mean listen forever in a day Newspapers have criticised players, um, but I've got to tell you, I've never seen one quite as heavy-handed as that. I mean, it, it feels almost personal. It is. I mean, it, it, I don't know what to say. It's, it's as, listen, I've been around for a long time, and that's the worst that I've ever seen. I would, however, suggest to, to Gareth Bale that he could help himself a little bit, though. You know, take for example the weekend where he doesn't strip for Real Madrid in the classical because he's ill. Well, why don't you let us let people know? You know, back in my day when somebody was criticising the papers, we had no recourse. But is it Today, just that he doesn't care now, Stevie? Does it? Does he just not care what they think of Madrid he cares. anymore? Anybody? Well, well, the, well the, the the papers certainly don't. But that's why I think he could help himself. I'm talking about the weekend when he was ill, didn't play. All of a sudden he turns around, he's world class for Wales. That's just heaping more pressure on himself. With Twitter, with Instagram, with all the with all the, the chances as a player you have to reach out to fans, anybody, by just and I'm not saying that, that, that you tell your life story, but you throw out a little I didn't train today. It looks like I could be struggling for the weekend. That takes all the pressure off. That means that nobody can just start making up things and say, well, he doesn't care, or, or, or this, guy's, this guy's, like they're saying, this guy's a parasite, he's not interested in Real Madrid, he's only interested in the money. All he has to do is little things like that every now and again to show that, A, there's something wrong with him, and that in some way just show that you actually do care and you're trying to get in the team. I think... As bad as that is, the, the article, I think he can help himself by just giving some information out now and again to fans and, and anybody who, who could just sit there and go, right, I'm going to, I'm going to make something up here. A couple of things. It's not almost a personal attack. It is a personal attack on Gareth Bale. And he goes way over the line, and it's unacceptable, and I think we can all agree on that. The second thing I say regarding what Stevie just mentioned there, I think the train is gone already for Gareth Bale. 
and we are beyond the point to where he can put out information and people would take it in reasonably well and understand where he's coming from. That could have been done years ago. It wasn't, and now the uh, negative momentum on the story of Gareth Bale surrounding Real Madrid is just too much. It's, it's too big of a monster right now, and there is no way to bring it back. So for Gareth Bale, what is left to be done is essentially continue to do what he's doing with Wales and somehow, somewhere, be able to produce that for Real Madrid. And that is what's driving Real Madrid fans crazy. It's not so much that Gareth Bale is playing golf or is deemed to be injured too much or doesn't make enough appearances for the club. It's the fact that when it comes to Wales, somehow he's on the field. And not only is he on the field, but he's scoring goals. And not only is he scoring goals, he's scoring the sort of goals that he did against Austria. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.